Hey, you guys. Um, today is June 16th, 2018, and it's a very special day for us um, because exactly one year ago is when Asha um, came to live with us and be a part of our family. Um, so we are celebrating a little bit, yes. as you can see right here we have a little decoration we have a little party which you will see a video from the party in a couple days yes I just have to make it work <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, so we had so much fun just celebrating um and just being together and yeah. kind of thinking back over the year of how we have changed and grown and some of the things that we've been through um, as a family, as individuals, um, and it's just, it's been an adventure. It's been amazing. It was an amazing year for sure, and we're a perfect match, and after this year, we're really sure about that. <laughs> so, one year ago, um, we were picking Asha up from the airport. It was about 4.30 and um, my youngest my baby was three months old exactly so she is 15 months old today um, and we were getting ready to leave for the airport to pick Asha up and I had a major freak out moment I was like what are we doing <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into we don't even know this person. We have Skyped a couple times and read her profile and watched her video and she's coming to live in our house. Like this is a, this is basically still a stranger that's coming um, from across the world to live with us and we have no idea like what, what we're doing. Um, but we did and I mean I was I I had a major freak out moment like <laughs> like should we even go should we even do this like what we didn't think this through but um you know we we just trusted we just trusted our guts trusted our heart and um just went for it um and decided that we would make the best of it no matter what even if she turned out to be crazy, <laughs> we were gonna make the best of it and um, for all of us, you know? And from the moment she got here, I really was thinking of it like it was my daughter. If my daughter flew across the world to live with a family, how would I want that family to treat her? You know, would I want her to feel left out? Would I want her to feel unwelcome? Or would I want her to be completely embraced? So from the moment she got here, that's what I tried to do. Um, I get a little awkward when I'm nervous. <laughs> um, so I probably like talked a lot. And <laughs> I, was, I was probably yeah. sweating <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, but you know, we picked her up and then as soon as we got home, we showed her to her room and then I was walking down the stairs um, and I fell down the stairs, like fell down the stairs with the baby. With, while I was holding the baby. <laughs> Good news, I protected the baby, kind of hurt myself a little bit, but we all survived. Um, but that was within about five minutes of being home. <laughs> yeah. So then I was like, welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is what it is. This is who we are. We're clumsy. We're crazy. But we like to have fun we like to make the best of things and we want this next year to be an adventure and so we just dove in head yeah. first and asha dove in with us <laughs> and it's been awesome um asha what was kind of like your first like did you have a freak out moment oh my god i did because like after uh we left from our training school from new york we left about 7 a.m. to the airport, but my flight was at 2, so I was waiting big little hours in the airport and was just thinking like, oh my god, what should I do? Like, what my first reaction should be, you know? And I had no idea. I 
I freaked out. Let's say I was texting all my friends, my family, like, oh my god, I'm going there. Like, <laughs> I'm really going there. Like, I don't know. Like, what should I do for it? Like, what should I say? Like, should I hug them? Or, oh my god, what should I do? And okay, well, I landed in Minnesota. And okay, in Europe, you're first going to take your suitcases and then you are going like out to people. And I was sure that it's the same way here. So just walking around the airport, just okay, I'll just take my suitcases and then I'll go meet them. So I have at least like 10, 15 minutes to think about like, what should I do? What should I say? And I was walking with two other girls and the doors open and one of the girls just ran to her family. I had no idea what just happened. The second one just ran to her family a few seconds later. And I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> like, where is my family? Like, is it, am I in a good place? Like, what's happening? And I didn't see them, but after like a minute or something, less than a minute, I heard Sonia yelling and like, <laughs> waving her hand for like, far away. Like, she's here, she's here. So I heard her, like, she had me, she showed me Veronica, and. We had signs and balloons yeah, for her. Yeah, that was super cute. <laughs> and they were trying to tell me like everything at the same time. And I was super nervous. My English was bad, so I didn't understand a lot. But they were like talking, talking, talking. I was like, okay, okay, yeah, cool. And then we got home. They showed me my room. And girls were with me. They were really excited that like, actually that I came. Like Sonia mailed me before that they were super excited. So they were with me. I was trying to unpack my suitcases. And then my host dad came, like, girls, just give her a minute and let her unpack. And they went out and I just closed the doors to my room. And I was like, <sighs> <laughs> like I did it. And I felt like I didn't breathe for like last hour. And that was the first like breathe out I could do. And I was like, oh my god, like what? Like I was super nervous, but actually I was super happy that they're really excited that I came here. And for, from the beginning, they were treating me like part of the family. They were not like, oh guys, so oh, here's your room and peace. Like they were really yeah. It was hard to... though because um, I didn't know. I don't know. I didn't know anything about Poland. Like I've never been there and. I kept saying like I was gonna learn Polish and I was gonna research Poland and I was gonna do all this stuff but I mean let's face it I had a newborn and I'm a little lazy and <laughs> really? I didn't notice this for a year <laughs> no. I mean I'm not lazy I'm just busy <laughs> She is. She's working really hard for everything. <laughs> so, um, no, but I, so I didn't do all the research that I should have done. And so I didn't know, like, I didn't know the hardest thing for me was what do I feed her? Like when I went grocery shop, I wanted her to have food. Okay. So I wanted, and then I know it's like, you're in this new place, this new house. You're not comfortable just going and opening up the refrigerator and getting stuff. So I put stuff in her room so that she could snack. So it was like chips and peanuts, so <laughs> healthy from the beginning. <laughs> and then, um, I, I didn't, I just didn't know what to feed her. Like that was yeah. my number one thing. And I would, I would take her to the store, like for the first few days and I'm like, just pick out whatever yeah, you want. She was thinking that anything. I would be just like, oh, I would take this and, and come on. Like I was here for get, one day and she would not I was get still anything. like, I will eat whatever you give me. Like I was <laughs> super shy, you know, like I'm new here. They like, you know, I was but really like, embarrassed. When, I, when we got you from the airport, like I'm, ch I'm like looking at her, you know, and here's this kid kind of like here's this young woman and but she was so like I just felt like she was so cool I'm like checking out like what she's wearing and I'm like god she's just cool I was just wearing like, jeans I know but that's the thing like she didn't try hard but she was just cool and I was like all right she's gonna get me like cool yeah so so see this dress? I picked this up for her. <laughs> I curled her hair. I didn't make her a makeup so, bag. 
So I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting a little cool. But no, so Asha at the airport, okay? So she's like this little thing, right? Like just this little like teeny thing. Yeah. This girl is all muscle. Like seriously. Her, her suitcase came. Like we were waiting for her suitcase. And I remember when it came around on the belt thing, whatever. And I'm like getting ready to tell Paul, hey, go grab that for her. Because it's this giant suitcase. I mean, yeah, like she I, came I was to the U.S. for a year, right? So I just took yeah, all Yeah, she like, came to the U.S. House. for a year. So she had this giant suitcase. And she goes over there and just like lifts it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to mess with her. Because <laughs> she might be able to take me. I don't I know. know. She's sometimes trying to like fake fight with me. So it's like her. Six year old and five year old and me, and they, they kind of do. Okay, anything. I'm not really faking, but then when she starts beating me up, then I act like I'm faking. <laughs> like I'm first, no, I'm like I'm tickle her. <laughs> no, but she is. She's all muscle, um, which is you know pretty cool until I try and. <laughs> just kidding. She works no. out all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, so kind of my first impressions of Asha was like cool, <laughs> muscle, <laughs> uh, shot. Yeah, I remember when you lifted your suitcase, and I was just like, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, but really, I thought you were cool because you're 18 years old, and you just flew across the world yeah. to live with a family. Like that takes yeah. so much courage and like I was so impressed with her that she was able to do that and so yeah. from the beginning I just I've been so impressed with her and when she wants to do something she she does it I mean yeah. she she makes a rational decision she thinks about um what she wants to do and then she makes a decision and she goes for it and she but does it it wasn't like this the whole life it's actually started when I started to think about the Oprah program like oh um, I want to do it but I was like oh I will not like I will not be able to do it like, I'm just too dumb or whatever and uh, but after I started telling my friends that uh, I want to do it they were like oh you're not gonna do it and I was like you know what I'm, I'm gonna show you right now and I did it and I was like super happy that I'm going after they asked me if I want to be a opera. I was super happy. I was already packing month before I was leaving. But the day when I was leaving Poland, I was like, oh my god, no, I am not going. That what what have done? Like I am not going anywhere. Like I was with my friends and my sister in the airport, and like I'm not going anywhere. Like I was crying. I, oh my god, that was the worst moment in my life. But they were like Asha, you can do it. We believe that you can do it and you're brave and you're strong and you can do anything you want to. Mm -hmm. So I left there just thinking like I'm doing this only for my family to not disappoint them and I'm gonna stay here for a year, only for a year and I'll be back and live my life that will be just like this little chapter. But it came out being like the best year in my life and I'm staying for a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, I have some plans that I want to make, which Sonia is super excited about. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't like this in my whole life. But right now, after I came here, I, after like I've done something I couldn't believe I can. I'm like, if I want to do something, I can. Like you can do whatever you want to. Yeah, um, yeah, and you know it. It helps that to have a good support system. Like Asha has an amazing amazing supportive family um back home in poland and they're right here and you know we're glad that we can be part of her amazing support system um here also so um we just wanted to say hi to you guys on this special day and um you know it's just it's just been such such a whirlwind and such an adventure and um it's been awesome. Yeah. So. <laughs> Whatever makes you do for me. Oh, I love these ladies so much. So, um, Asha's gonna put together a little video of our celebration today. Yeah. It was so hot um, oh outside, God. so it was a little crazy, but um, we had a good time celebrating, and awesome um, yeah.
is awesome. From the morning to <laughs> night, really 10, 11, yep. and we are making a video. Yeah. So, um, so, see you guys soon. Yes. And cheers to another year. Yay! <laughs>